game theory video, we're going to look at weekly dominant strategies. All right, we have a game where the payoffs represent dollars. The first number are the dollars that go to player one. The second number are the dollars that go to player two. More dollars are obviously better. Uh, players have a strategy. They can play friend or they can play foe. And actually, this payoff matrix is based on a game show that's no longer um, being shown on TV, but you can still see uh, videos of it on YouTube. All right, so let's try to solve this game. So player from players, player one's perspective, if player two plays friend, what's the best thing for player one to do? Well, the strategy would be to play foe, you'd get the most money. $1,000 beats 500. So again, if you're player one and you think player two is going to play friend, your highest payoff goes to uh, the strategy that is based on foe. Again, if you're player one and now you think player two plays foe, it really doesn't matter what you do. If player two plays foe, you're walking away with nothing. So this is the idea of a weekly dominant strategy. In one case, playing foe is by far the best. If Again, if player two plays friend, the best thing for player one to do is to play foe. If player two plays foe, it really doesn't matter what player one does. Player one is getting the same payoff as zero. So player one has a weekly dominant strategy of foe. Foe is far superior in one case, and in the other case, you're no better off or worse off using the foe strategy. Uh, player two's perspective, uh, since the, from players two, this is just a mirror image of player one, player two will have a weekly dominant strategy of foe as well. So just to walk through it, if player one plays friend, the game would end up in this top row. Your player two, the highest payoff would come from playing the foe strategy, 1,000 beats 500. Again, your player two, you only care about your payoffs, which is recorded by the second number. If you're player two and you now think player one will play foe, you're walking away with no money here. It's zero, zero, uh, both of the second numbers. So here again, we establish a weekly dominant strategy for player two. For player two, playing foe is superior if player one plays friend. Uh, and if player one plays foe, you're no better off or worse off uh, for, uh, in player two's shoes from playing the foe strategy. So we predict that both players will play their weekly dominant strategy, foe, foe, and that would lead to an outcome of 0-0, zero, zero, the Nash equilibrium of this game. We could ask each player, uh, hey, you're currently playing foe and player two's playing foe. Would you like to change your strategy? And neither player would like to change your strategy. Their payoffs given the strategy of the other player currently pl playing foe, would not increase by playing friend. And by the same token, this 500-500 is not a Nash equilibrium. Uh, if you're player one playing friend and player two's playing friend, if you had a chance, you would like to change, you would like to change your strategy to foe. You would move from getting $500 to 1000 So this friend-friend is not a Nash equilibrium. Either player would... Uh, would like to change their strategy given the strategy of the other player. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.